Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. Today we're going to be doing a review of a chicken coop door. Um, just for full disclosure, this company, Chamut, Chamuti or something, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they sent me an email. They um, asked if I would review one of their chicken coop doors. And so I wrote back to them and said, well, can I be perf like totally honest? And if so, then I'll do it. And they said, yes, and what's your address? So they sent me this door. I haven't opened it yet, but I believe it's solar powered and you can set it either with a timer each day or you can do light sensitivity. I believe it's 150 on Amazon and there's a $10 coupon right now. So I'll put a link in the description um, if you're interested in trying it out yourself. open it up and see what's in here so if you've been watching my videos you know I already have a door for the main coop so this would be to let the chickens out of their run and into a bigger run area which we don't want them out there all the time because they just make it a total mud mess but we might set it so they can come out in the evening for an hour or two or something so we'll open it up and see how it works <laughs> All right, so we have the main door, instructions. Looks like the solar panel is on one side of this thing and then a, kind of a control panel on the other. And then a few other things. Um, oh, it looks like there's a little tripod if you wanted to maybe mount the solar panel in the ground. Um, some screws remote control. All right, so we'll start reading the directions. Mm -hmm. So really nice instructions with diagrams and everything. Okay, the door's closing. Uh oh, why did it open? It thought it hit a chicken. Okay. Open. What does this on off thing do? Well, try pushing off. Okay. I don't know, try pushing off once. Just once at this. Yeah, so you can open and close it with the remote. Okay, guys. Okay, give it, give it. I'm sorry, but this is, I'm trying to do a video. Okay, either go do a stuff with him or not. Okay, so I read through the directions. Looks like they want me to cut a hole, a certain size to put this in. Uh, which I already kind of have a hole, so maybe it'll fit, I don't know. Um, so you can open and close it with the buttons on the back of the solar panel. You can open and close it with the remote. Okay, well, one cool thing, you can set it to open and close with the light. Um, the way you set it to time, like um, at a certain time, like if, you, if, I, I, if I wanted to open, say at five o'clock at night to let the chickens out, I just have to manually open it once at that time, and then it will know to do it every 24 hours according to the directions, and then I can also set closing to be light sensitive. So I can have one on a timer, the other on light, which is kind of cool. The door is some kind of plastic. 
Um, I can open it a little bit, but I, an animal wouldn't be able to open it any further than that. I believe this, this would be the outside. So, I don't know, I guess I'm going to try installing it and see how it works. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so the light next to the open is flashing red. And next to the green, uh, close is flashing green, which means it's, I can set, I can manually open it and it'll open at that time every day, every 24 hours, and closing is light sensitive. Okay, so let's go see if we can install it. So we're going to let the chickens out so they're not in our way while we're trying to put this door in, hopefully. All right, so that hole right down there in the side of our coop, that's where the chickens can come out into, we kind of have an open area where they can be in the grass a little bit. I'm gonna try to mount this door on the inside of that, maybe add a board, because it looks a little too wide. And then we'll see where we can mount the, see where we can mount the solar panel. So we'll see how that works. Plug this wire in, in on the inside of the coop. So which side does it plug into? Okay. So I guess why don't we take it through up here and go down the inside? All right. So we're trying to mount this right up here where it'll get a lot of sun, and there's just enough wire. So came up about. I don't know, this this cord must be like seven or eight feet. So perfect. And it'll mount on the roof. And then the sensor for the remote controls right here, which we could probably hit from our window. But we're gonna see. Um I'm gonna see if we can drill through this metal roof with the screws they give you are self-tapping, so they have a little drill pit on them so that's cool what's self tapping little drill bit oh. so when you start going it drills its own hole so it should go right through this metal okay so I got the screw started without the thing man that sun is right in my eyes right now Okay, now, if, okay, so maybe this time of day we want it to open, so I'm going to push the open button, and there it goes, opening. All right, so now we're going to add a board beside that. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to show you our setup. So we have this chicken run back there in the back is like a four by six chicken coop. Um, we have an automatic door for the chicken coop. Um, it's light sensitive and we paid a whole bunch of money for that. I believe over 300 bucks. Um, you can check out another video about that. So that lets them into this little run but they tear that all up and there's no grass. So we wanted a way for them to be able to come out into this enclosed area, which has some grass and some mulberry trees and apple trees they can get under. But we didn't want them out here all day, every day. So we didn't want it really to be light sensitive. So that's where this new door is coming in. So right down there on the edge of the coop, we have installed this new door. So it's right down there in that slot. We put a, it was, didn't quite cover the slot that I had there. So I added a board on the right side. And 
then ran the cord right up to, and put the solar panel on top. So that's really cool. If that solar panel charges the battery and we don't ever have to change the battery, that's super cool. So that's up there. And so that's our setup. So let's talk a little bit more about first impressions of the store. All right, so what do I think about this coupe, coupe door from Chamudi? Um, so it was super simple coming out of the box. There was just like the main door and then a little control panel you plug in and that control panel also had the solar panel and a little remote control. It also did have one cord that's kind of optional that you could um, plug in and then it was a USB plug so you could like plug it into your phone charger to charge up the battery like when you first got it before you set up the solar panel. So it was super simple, um, came with screws, self-tapping screws, um, there were like six holes on the outside of the door to screw it onto your chicken coop and the instructions were super simple um you can set the door like i mentioned before you can set it to open and close by the light so like open when daylight hits close when it's getting dark or you can set it um, as a timer and the way the timer is set is like if you want it to open at 7 a.m you man manually open it at 7 a.m one day and then if you want it to close say at 8 p.m you manually close it at 8 p.m and then it remembers to do that every 24 hours. So, and you can have, the way I'm doing it is I'm having it open at 6 p.m., close at dark. So the chickens have a couple hours in the evening to get out. So, super simple. Um, I think I will also update, I'll, I'll add on to this video after a day or two and let you know how it's going. All right, we're gonna do a quick test and see how far this remote works. So the sensor for this remote is on the base of this, this um, control panel, so right there. So I'm just flattening that so that it points more towards the house and then we'll see how it works. So let's see, so from just I don't know, four feet away. I'm gonna press it and the door is right down there. And there it goes up. I'm going to press it back down. Okay, so it works from four feet away. And we're gonna just go further away and see how it works. What if I go right down the roof line and try to get like 16 feet away? Yeah, that did work. Okay, let's move a little further and go straight down the roof line again. Let's see about here. And that is not working. Okay, so the remote works, but you probably aren't gonna be able to get more than, I don't know, 15 or 16 feet away. All right, so it's been about three days and coop door has been working great um, it comes it comes up at the time I originally set it um, and it goes down when it gets dark so exactly the way the instructions described so things I like about this door is one it's pretty reasonable around $150 um, two super simple like instructions are simple control panels simple um, three it has the solar panel so you don't have to mess with changing batteries it just continually charges itself um, four it has a remote control um, as well as the control panel to open and close five one thing I really like is that you have the option of either using like a timer or light sensitivity to open and close so overall I think it's a great coop door but I have only had it a few days but so far so far I really like it so if you're, if you're on a little bit of a budget and you're interested, again, I have the link in the description. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. 
So I want to thank Chamudi for giving me the opportunity of reviewing this door. I think it's a great door. We're going to get some great use out of it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have a different door you recommend in the comments below. But thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.